Hi, and welcome to the Titus Ventures channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show how to scrape a website using Node and then writing that data to a Google Sheets. This is actually very simple. I have the code right here and I'll leave a link in the description below for the repo so that you can copy and take a look at the code. And what I'm using this for is that I'm scraping data off of a website periodically using a cron job and then writing it to my personal Google Sheet file that I can take a look at from time to time. And so just to start, I wanna go through the packages that I'll be using. Um, first is node cron, that's to run the cron job to run the uh, script periodically. And then the other is Google APIs. And then Cheerio, Cheerio is a HTML markup parser. And then finally, uh, node fetch. So if you haven't already, please take a look at the previous video I did on how to read and write to Google Sheets. That gives a lot of context to this video, but I will do some of the similar steps. So it'll still make logical sense, but I think it's still wise to watch the previous video to get an idea. All right, so for this script, I'm using as an example, and I am using it to scrape this website, which is a store listing on the Google Workplace Marketplace. And all I'm doing is trying to tally and store this download number. So my cron job will run once a day and read this number and store it in the Google Sheets. That's all it's doing. Of course, this is just an example application. You can write the scrape function to do whatever you want, um, but I'm just giving you the structure of the, the script. So first I'm gonna demonstrate how the script works without using the cron job. So I'm just going to run it in my terminal. I'm just gonna type a node and then period to run the index.js file in this directory. And keep in mind, this is the first time I'm running it. So it's going to need authentication in order to access the Google Sheets. So a lot of this context will be in my previous video. So again, go watch that if you haven't already. It's gonna tell me to visit this URL to retrieve a code. This effectively allows my app to authenticate um, with the Google account. If that was successful, I should see a token stored to token.json and then it will run the script. So basically what it's gonna do is it runs the script after authorizing, goes to this website and finds this number and then takes that number and stores it into this Google Sheets file with the date and the corresponding number of downloads. One important thing to note about the token.json file, if you're running a cron job is that it needs to have a refresh token key in there. If it doesn't have a refresh token key, then the token will expire and you can no longer access the Google account and write to the Google Sheets file. All right, so I've already demonstrated that I can scrape the website and then write it to my Google Sheets file. Let's walk through the code now. This is the scope that the Google API will require for the app to write to the Google Sheets. This is the token path. So this is the main piece of code that runs when I'm running this script. And it will authorize using my credentials. And then if that's successful, then it'll run this write data function. So this is the authorize function. And a lot of this code is boilerplate from the Google examples. So I'm just gonna bypass all that. So this is the write data function where I scrape the URL and then if that's successful, then it gets appended to my Google Sheet in Sheet 1 with this Google Sheet ID. So this scrape URL is a function that I've made and you will have to edit it for whatever purpose you're trying to use it for. And so that's this function here. And this function fetches the HTML from the page, converts it to text, and then parses it using the Cheerio package. And then when it parses it, it looks for a specific like property in the, in the HTML and then uses that to find the download count on the store listing. So obviously if you don't want to do this, you have to, to scrape whatever you need to scrape off the web page. But this is a very simple example of how that can be applied. All right, that's pretty much it. If you want to take a look at the code, I'll link you to the GitHub page in the description below. And let me know if this helped you in the comments. If it did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.